Now here's the latest from 10 Connects News. Getting older people to start working with computers can be tough, says Eleanor Greenberg. They're afraid of the computer, and I tell them, you can't hurt the computer. But if you're not careful, there are plenty of ways the computer can be used to hurt you. From these internet crimes... People like Greenberg where? gathered at the University of South Florida's Sarasota campus to hear from Florida Attorney General Bill McCollum, law enforcement, and Verizon officials about how to protect themselves online. And if they're not wary, and I am, you know, astute at social engineering, they can become my victim. Um, Sergeant like Bob to, Graham with Sarasota uh, County Sheriff's you know, like Office has Bundy, seen many you know. of the scams in his 23 years on the force. It sounds too good to be true, it is. Always applies when it's on the internet. Online predators use disguises to create emails that look like they may have come from your bank or family members to elicit information they can use to make money. The bank would never ask you to verify your bank account or your social security number or your credit card number over the internet. Uh, the only time you'd ever do that is if you yourself initiated to go into a secure banking site. Scammers also use Facebook, Flickr, and other sites to find mother's maiden names, grandchildren's birth dates, and other useful info that can help them seem like a friend. The same way you would approach a stranger in the mall or at a grocery store, you should approach somebody you don't know on the internet with that same level of caution. Picking a password that's not personal can also add protection. Make sure it has at least eight characters with a mix of capital and small letters and also use numbers. And by communicating with people you know and protecting private information, the internet can be safe for people of all ages. In Sarasota, David Leonard, 10 Connects.